Welcome back to Storytime with Mr. Chill. And today is the third day of Black History Month, so we are going back into Little Legends Exceptional Men Black History by Vasily Pierce. Today we're going to be talking about Frederick Douglass, an order and an abolitionist. Born and slave on a plantation in Maryland, Frederick was separated from his mother as an infant. He understood that he was seen and treated as property. When he was eight years old, he was sent to work for Hugh Oldham. His wife taught Frederick how to read. It was illegal for a black person to read and write, a tactic used to keep the enslaved from advancing. When he found out, he put a stop to their lessons. But Frederick had learned enough to be able to teach himself. One of the first books he owned was a collection of historical speeches. So as he learned to read, he was also learning how to give speeches and form an argument, something he would become famous for. As a devout Christian, Frederick didn't understand how slave owners could co-opt the gospel to reinforce ideas of slavery. He tried to escape many times, and he even tried to forge travel papers. He was found out, labeled a troublemaker, and tortured for it. In 1838, he finally made his escape north. While free, he fought to abolish slavery. In 1841, he spoke at an anti-slavery convention. People were riveted by his eloquence. Northern Northerners didn't understand the experience of being slave, but Frederick published his autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. It became a bestseller. Some didn't believe he wrote it or experienced it, so he wrote a second one, this time naming his slave owners. It was a risky move, and he had to go to the United Kingdom to avoid recapture. There he gave speeches, and two of his supporters negotiated to purchase his freedom back in the United States. He published several anti-slavery newspapers, including the North Star. He took his words of abolition to President Lincoln, advocating for the rights of black Union soldiers in the Civil War. He also supported women's suffrage. Frederick's lifelong efforts led to the ratification of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments to the Constitution and he is remembered as one of the most important people in world history. Well, thank you for coming back, and make sure you come back tomorrow for our next Little Legend, Exceptional Men in Black History.